Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley where I've forgotten everything that I probably said I was going to do last time. Uh, let's go and have a look if anyone has a birthday. Uh, Evelyn's birthday is tomorrow so it will be within this episode. I need to remember that because Evelyn, if we give her a tulip we should be able to get quite a few hearts with her and she's one that we really kind of need to work on so that's really good. Uh, we still need to work on... I think Shane and Emily. So with Shane and Emily, um, Emily I'm going to leave. But Shane I will probably give a bouquet straight to. Um, still need to work on Sam a bit. Sebastian and Harvey were right at 10 hearts and I think we've had the 10 heart cutscene for both of them now. Went on a hot air balloon and a little motorcycle. Was it the motorcycle ride? Oh yeah, it was out to the, the little point outside. Oh, it's snowing! I love the snow. Yeah, we went on a motorbike ride out to like this point and looked over Zuzu City and had a kiss and it was lovely. So, greetings from Calico Desert. Come visit me soon. I'm really bored out here. I've included a gift from the desert. You can come and thank me in person, Sandy. Oh, Sandy, you're bored. Oh, more mail. Did you know I'm at my wit's end? I desperately want to make a Coco No-No at the saloon. But I have no way of getting a coconut. Oh, right. I might be able to do that for you from Gus. I'll just go give Gus that coconut. Hey Cothark. Right, today I'm going to be a nice good animal owner and I'm actually going to like go and visit all the animals today and I'm going to pat them all. Because I'm a horrible, horrible animal owner. Really bad one. That's why none of the chickens lay any eggs. They all hate me. Look, they're down to like two hearts. A lot of these animals were up at like four hearts and now they're down to like two. So I've neglected them all so much. Avak still loves me four hearts but Avak was right up to five hearts. And Cal. They're like some of my oldest chickens so... Alphatora still likes me four so you know we can... it's, it's recoverable. But I need to be... I need to be much better with this than I have been so... I would fill Keeper's water bowl, but I don't even know where the, <laughs> where the watering can is anymore. You're alright, aren't you, Keeper? You still love me. You can find water in loads of places. You're a cat. Right, let's go and see the ducks. I really should put the duck play house in a better place next time I play this. Right, ducks, hello. You have some eggs for me. So you must like me a bit. See, so winter would actually be a very good time to, to get some hearts with the ducks because they actually are not like running around the farm getting lost all the time. So that would be a good time. But no, I have squandered it. By trying to... Oh dear, they don't like me at all. This is really bad. I've been so neglectful. Let's go and see the cows and stuff. See how they feel about me. Cows and pigs and sheep. Oh, we have lost some serious hearts with the cows. They were up to five hearts. Oh no, it's the pigs. Okay. So actually they didn't they didn't go down too much. The goats still like me quite a bit as well. So that's not so bad. Okay, so what we're gonna do now then? Uh I need to go and see Sandy in the desert. Actually we might just go straight away and do that, you know that? Because I'm always going around giving people presents. Got an inventory full of rubbish, so I probably won't be spending too much time in the um, skull caverns. I might have a little go down there. But I haven't really prepared very well for it. I have plenty of money though, so I can just go to see Sandy if I want. No law against it. Off we go, Pam. 
Calico Desert. Go see Sandy. See how she's doing. Oh, did I bring a flower for her? I bet I didn't. <sighs> Silly she love. Always bring flowers for Sandy. Mm, right, okay. How have we given Sandy a lot of presents this week? Have we given her any? No, none. Oh, wasted opportunity. In fact, we've we've wasted a lot of opportunities for that because we've been back and forth with that dragon. But anyway, we'll go and have a chat because that's at least going to help. My name's not really Sandy, you know. It's just good for business. What is your name then? But everyone calls me Sandy anyway, so I've just gotten used to it. Hmm. Will you talk to us yet? Probably not. Oh, right. The club card is for this. Ah. I hope I didn't blast everyone's ears with that. I've been having a lot of clipping with the microphone lately and I'm trying to work out how to sort it out. So bear with me while I'm doing that. Um, I'm going to say yes. Because <laughs> I don't want to call him a blockhead. That's mean. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm allowed in. Oh, we are in a place where we can buy Quee coins, a casino with slot machines and poker, I think. I have no idea what that game is. And a uh, file on she lab. <gasps> Someone's been watching me. It's like the Truman Show. Steps taken, 316,839. Gifts given, 642. Data Stardew Valley, 215. Dirt Hoed, 1,449. Items crafted, 2,000. Wow. Cooked, 133. And recycled, 29. Trash. Slayed 1,000 monsters over. Caught 300 fish. But tried to catch 540 fish. That's not a very good success rate, is it? 1,549 seeds sown and 5,388 items shipped. Wow. Who are you? Oh, it's Master Cree. It's good to finally meet you, kid. Welcome to my exclusive clubhouse. You've got that spark. That's why I singled you out. What spark? Ah, the conduit of mystery, of art. People like us have a responsibility to keep the world alive, to give folks a taste of the extraordinary. You see, kid, the world's like a bowl of rice. It's got substance, but it ain't worth nothing without a good zesty sauce. That's where we come in. So we're the sauce on the world's rice. Didn't you ever wonder who put those treasure chests in the old mine shaft? I like to give people surprises. <laughs> By the way, they're rubbish, so uh, put better stuff in them, please. You'll understand someday. Just keep doing your best and never give up. Okay. Buy a hundred Quee coins for a thousand gold. Sure, I have loads of gold. Why not? Psst. I have a statue of endless fortune for sale. Only a million gold. What do you say? Um, no way, I can't. I don't have a million gold. Wellwick. Oh, Wellwick's Oracle. It's not my lucky day. Ugh, I drank too much. Man, hey, can't you see I'm busy? I'm a roll here. On a roll here. Ooh, I can bet 10 or bet 100 on a calico spin. Bet 10. Nah. Bet 10. Nah. Oh, oh, I got some money back. Because I got... I have no idea why. Uh... Nah. Why did I win? I don't understand.
Ah, uh, that sucks. I'm gonna lose all my money now. Lose all my money gambling. I'm never gonna get three of the same thing. Oh, I nearly did. This is a fun way to lose all my gold. Two fish! Oh, I see if I get any cherries, that's why. That'll be why I got some cherries. No, I lost all my money on the slot machine. I need more Quee coins so I can play the other games. Yes, sure. Okay, so what's this then? I have to show you all what the games are. This table's for the big shots. It's a thousand coin bet. Wow. So I need a thousand Quee coins. Who are you? Just the wall? It looks like there's like, some cloak room or something. Let's have a look at the other table and see if they'll let me play or if I can only play this, the slot machines and lose. Calico Jack, 100 coin table. Alright then, what's the rules? You have to get as close to 21 as possible. Cards range from 1 to 9, except the first card which can be high as 11. Each player starts with two cards, but the dealer's first card remains hidden. Each turn you can choose to draw a random number between 1 or 9 or pass. Alright then, once you pass, dealer's hidden card is revealed. She must draw until her total reaches or exceeds 18. If either player exceeds 21 on their turn, they lose. If the dealer passes, then all cards are revealed and the highest score wins. Okay, so I need to get to 221. Let's have a go. So I've got 9, so I can hit or stand. So I hit. 17. If I go over 21, I'm in trouble. Let's hit one more time. Oh, I lost. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> I'm going to spend all my money in this casino. So bad. Okay, let's have another go. So I got 10. I'll definitely hit on a 10. Probably hit on a 13. I'll stand on an 18. Ah. Oh. I want another go. I don't even know how much I'll win. Like, do I just double my money? Sheila's got a gambling addiction now, guys. Eight hit. Fifteen hit. Stand. Dealer cheating. You're cheating. What's this guy who's watching got to say? Can't reach him to talk. Well, that was a very fun way to lose lots of money. I don't have much luck. Let's do one more on the one more go on the slot machines before we leave, just so that we've got to yeah, have a bit of fun with all of my hard-earned money. At ten, that sucks. Give me a cherry at least. I think this casino is cheating. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Oh, I won. Ooh. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving while I, while I've. Well, I don't know what the point in leaving would be. Oh, maybe next time I come, I can play something. I look parched. What happened? You're a club member? Yep. I'm a member of the secret club where you can go and lose all your money. That's really cool. I may as well pick all these up and all the coconuts and stuff while we're here. And if there's any wiggly worms, may as well unwiggle them. For all the awesome clay that we're going to get. Golden mask, that is something we have not had before. A golden relic, that is also something we have never had before. I better go straight to Gunther's um, after this then. 
That is pretty cool. I hope I can get there in time. Yeah, let's go back and let's see if we can get to Gunther's. If I go through the minecarts, it should be quick. Because uh, it closes if you're not quick enough. Gorthax has been wondering where you've been. Well, you can carry on wondering because I'm going to the town. Quick! Give my new relics to Gunther. Before the library shuts. Okay, donate to the museum. A golden mask. And a golden relic. Ah, oh, that sucks. It wasn't enough to give me another prize. I'll probably go in the skull caverns. Um, someone said to take a load of bombs to the skull caverns. Oh no, mom's making lentil soup tonight. I like lentil soup. What's wrong with lentil soup? I like living on the farm. My favourite is the fresh ice cream from our cow's milk. Are you friends with Linus? He lives in a tent up in the mountains. I'm better friends with Linus than I am with you. Everyone ignores him, the poor guy. He's actually really nice, just a little odd. It must be so cold to live in a tent this time of year. Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cold in the winter to live in a tent. Right, now where am I wanting to go now? Mm. Possibly up to the dwarf. Do I have any gems? No, of course I don't. I never have what I actually need. Oh, let's go and give Gus the coconut. It might give me some money for that. Because that's a proper quest. And saloon should be open. And if we can find Sam, we can give him, um... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go around. Yeah, if we can find Sam, we can give him some cactus fruit and see if we can get him to ten hearts. And also, I do need to get my bouquets. Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. Okay, that's all he's got to say for himself. So we'll give him the coconut. Coconut! Now, there's a soothing sight for my winter eyes. It's going to be perfect for my Coco No No. Thanks. Exotic spirits. Got 600 gold for giving him one coconut. I think that's alright, don't you? Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Change, you got anything to say for yourself? I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. What else is there to do? See, he's got 10 hearts, so I wonder if I gave him a bouquet, if he would um, be straight at 10 hearts with me. If I wasn't so busy, I'd help you dig around in that cave by the lake. I bet there are some powerful crystals inside there. There are. I found loads. Hey, Sebastian. When I was younger, I'd run out to the railroad, ro the railroad whenever I get heard a train coming. I can't talk. What's going on? Whatever happened to those days? Sigh. Well, I've heard that one before, and you're in my way. Ah. <sighs> You're out of my way now. Hello, Leah. See, everyone wants a little bit of eggnog. See, that's what they have this close to Christmas, you see. I've never actually had eggnog. I don't think it would taste that good, though. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do you ever get cold in that farmhouse of yours? Stop by my cabin if you want to huddle under one of my quilts and drink cider. Oh, that's a proposition if I ever heard one. Kent, uh, do you have any fruit that you would like? Pomegranates, but I'm really keeping those more for... Oh, maybe a snow, snow yam. He might like that. Yeah, I'm keeping the pomegranates for uh, Elliot. Oh, it's a... What is this exactly? Okay, you don't like that as much. I'll have a chat to you, though. It looks like a decent day for fishing, doesn't it? Oh, do you like fishing? I didn't know that. Okay, probably time to go and get Quarthok and, and go home, honestly. I might get a bouquet and give it to Shane, though. I want to see how that all works out. I feel kind of sorry for Shane, because, like, he's... 
had a really kind of hard life and he gets so drunk and he's got such a horrible job as well. I don't even know, like, now he doesn't, the Joe Jamart isn't running anymore. I know Pam now has a job as a bus driver. What does Shane do? I don't know. I've made him, made him unemployed. I've also left Corthok behind. Right, well, let's see where I put all the bouquets because I did store some away somewhere. I know I did. Uh, not there, not there. Got some bombs. Need to take them with me tomorrow. But we can't woo with bombs. We can only woo with bouquets. Right, well, I don't think they're in there, so they're either in the house or in my flower chest. My flower chest would be a sensible place to put them. Yes, a bouquet in there. And I'm going to need to get a couple more for um, Elliot. Uh, Elliot and Alex. Because uh, those two still don't have bouquets yet. I want to give everyone bouquets because I'm a player. I'm no, not really. I just want to know what their cutscenes are like. Never trust a girl in a pink cowboy hat. Them's the rules. Okay, so he should be in the saloon. And we'll get that ever super duper cool response, which will be like, oh, thanks. Yeah, it's great. I'll accept this. Thank you. So now if I go here. Shane is already on 10 hearts. Yay! So, guys, if that's if you've got someone to 10 hearts, Shane or Emily to 10 hearts, and then they go back down to 8, and you give them a bouquet, they'll be straight back up to 10 again. Pro tip. So who am I still needing to work on? Linus a little bit. Sam a little bit. But Sam is actually in here for once. It's rare you see Sam in here. Playing pool. With the band. So I'll give him a cactus fruit. Oops. Oh yeah, this is my absolute favourite. So we are now at nine hearts for Sam, which is great. Sai, I'm not very good. There's Sebastian beating you. Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. One thing I've learned living here, everyone stares at you if you look different. Well, I have a pink cowboy hat, so they probably look at me as well. But at least I have brown hair, not like weird purple hair like you. Okay, is there anybody else in here that I don't have ten hearts with? Linus is somewhere else. Sam, we've given presents to. Evelyn, we'll give a tulip to tomorrow. Kent, we've given all our gifts to. Pierre, is P I saw. I'm sure I saw Pierre in here. Elliot, Alex, Penny, Vincent, George. That's only really five people that we've got to do anything with now. That's pretty good. That's Pierre there. So I wonder if Pierre likes cactus fruits. I'm not going to need that many for salmon. I can get them from the desert fairly easily. A present, thanks. And we'll have a chat as well. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. That's all he's got to say. Okay. Are we 10 hearts with Mayor Lewis yet? Oh, actually we are. Cool. And Clint. Doing really badly with Pierre, Elliot and Alex though. Penny, I just, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with Penny. She just doesn't like me. Okay, let's go back to the farm. So... The farm we're doing quite well with, I feel. We've we've done quite a lot of things. Um, but what I'll do... Ah, you know what I'll do? I'll go get some wood from the magical forest as well before we, before we head to bed. So I'm going to start from now on being a bit nicer to the animals. Trying to get a bit of a, a good relationship with them. Um, I'm going to start doing little bits and bobs around the farm here and there and working towards my house. And carrying on working on the social. But the more social that I'm getting done, the less I'm actually having to do now. I've only actually got five people 
that I need to give any presents to, which is kind of cool. I don't need to worry about the, um, what's it called? Community centre anymore, because that's all done. But apparently there are some new buildings now. So I need to go and see Robin, because I think my um, duck coop upgrade is possibly done. I need to double check that, actually. She doesn't seem to be there anymore. So I think that's all upgraded to the, the full thing. And for once I actually bought Corthok in here. I don't normally do that. It's because I've obviously I've unblocked the way. There we are. Slimes are dead. Boom, boom, boom. I always think the slimes are dead and there's always another one that pops out from somewhere. I think they hide in the trees. Dead slime! Nothing to do up here anymore. See, I know that with the new um, Stardew Valley, you get these cool new farm layouts where you can go and fight monsters and you can go and do all sorts of different things. But I think when you've got the minecarts and things like that unlocked, it I think in the early game it's very, very good because it helps. I'm not picking up that holly. Everyone hates holly. Yeah, in the, in the early days it's really, really good to have all that right by your farm. But I think after a while you do start to just want to go to the... You want to go mine in the big cabin. I don't even go to the quarry, for example. I've got that unlocked. I could go straight to it. But I never do. I should probably go and just check it. You know, see what's spawned there. I'll do that in the morning. But what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll get up in the morning. I'll take a one single tulip out to give to Evelyn for her birthday. We'll go and give Evelyn her birthday present. And she should. she's normally around her house somewhere. Um, that we'll pack a load of bombs and we'll go and just bomb a load of the sandy patches in the skull caverns. I feel a little bit more, um, a little bit more okay with, with doing that. Mm. Okay, skull caverns, here we go. Oh, more mail. Gee. Ooh, bomb. Thank you, Kent. Um, right, I need all the bombs, and all the foods, and all the energy tonics. I need to put away all the rubbish that I don't need, so I can make some room. Of course, there's no room anywhere. Don't need that or that. Is that really all the bombs we have? I would have thought I'd have more than that. Maybe not. Okay then. So I need to go to the flower chest now. I just run. I don't need Corthok. You can have a day off, Corthok. Okay, so I'm going to this chest. No, it's not this chest I want. It is the flower chest. Ah, oh, it's a purple one. And I need a tulip. And I have one tulip left. I think I was saving that for Evelyn's birthday, honestly. Yeah, no, I've, I was, I'm being honest. You can have a day off, Corthok. I'm going to go to town. Oh, snow yam. Yum, 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 yum. I kind of lost my thread there, didn't I? Okay, so we're going to go to the town, and then we'll go back to Evelyn's house. To across the bridge. It's probably just as long to walk this way. Oh, you know what I should do as well? Take that crocus and give it to Sandy. I also need to pop up and see the dwarf every, every now and then with some gems. Also, I should really take these quests as well. Four sardine. Oh, no chance. 
I don't even know if sardine are around this time of year. Probably are if Willie's asking for them. So, happy birthday, dear Evelyn. Gee, love, have I told you that George and I have lived in our house for 30 years? Since you were 15, then. I hope you stay here for a while. Wow. Did I have any of that mushroom stuff for George? No. I'm going to chat to Alex, me as well. I guess it's interesting that some people are totally different than us, you know? I don't always understand why others act the way they do, but that's fine. Okay. Bye. Can't wait to be able to get kale again and then try and get salmon for... I'm sure I kept some salmon. I really hope I did. Okay, so we are going to try again with the uh, skull cavern and this time I will try to pay attention and be careful with the bombs and not spend all my money in the casino it's cute that there's a little casino but I, I I don't know if I was hoping for something more useful than that because I always lose in casino games I do not have good luck I have terrible luck is it Pam's day off or something? Oh, okay. She's just late. Drank too much in the bar last night. And I've got to wait for her to stand next to the bus. There, it's me on the bus. I'm the only one that ever goes on the bus. That's why it costs 500 gold. I sometimes don't get the economy on Sarji because if you remember, Joe Jamar used to pay five gold an hour. So Pam used to earn five gold an hour. So say she worked um, a full like seven, maybe eight hour day, she would have earned 40 gold, right? And yet she earns 500 gold for just driving me, or I don't know if maybe some horrible bus owner like rips her off and doesn't pay her very much, but yeah, she gets. 500 gold for just taking me to the bus to the next city. I don't know if it's like a really, really super long journey, but then apparently it can be done in like under an hour, so not sure about that. Skull caverns. Okay. So what we're here for mostly is to find... Kill a few things, because I think having good combat will actually really help me. But at the moment, I have rubbish combat. Oh, iridium. Cool. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Not for two of you. Ah! Okay. We're done. Phew. So these are these little treasure chests and things that... Oh no, actually, the treasure chest in the mine must be the ones that you got like every 10th level. So those are the ones that Master Kui left for us. That's nice of him, isn't it? So really, mostly, I'm not really looking to for stone or, or anything like that. I'm mostly looking just to go down the levels and find patches of sand. So let's go down to whatever level this is. Go down to level 5. Oh, an earth crystal. I haven't had one of those in a while. They're good for making a few things, I think. Uh, we need to just get through here. Um, we've not really had many sand patches yet, which is annoying, because that's basically what I came down here for. Now, I need to reorganise this inventory. I need my sword first, and then my pickaxe second. So I can go doom doom. I did that with the number keys. Are you impressed? I don't normally do anything with the number keys. I normally suck at that. 
Okay, right. No sandy patches down here. Or up here. That was where I came from anyway. Or up here. Or was it where I came from? Or was it just... Is that just another exit? Nope. So I'm going to have to start mining rocks to find the way out. Which is always delightful. So much fun. I think things become a lot less fun when you've done them like 4,000 times, but... You know, it is good to collect some stone. It saves me having to buy it off Robin. Each one of these stones saves me 20 gold. It's just that I can pick like one cranberry and get a couple of hundred gold off it. Although I don't know, they might have rebalanced it. Oh, another hole. We fell down four levels. We'll be like level 10 before we know it. I'm waiting for the mummy level. No, it wasn't a mummy level. Yay! Okay, so we've got some quartz. Got a nice box here. Two geodes. I'm going to start... Every time I hit those with my pickaxe instead of my sword, I seem to get something better out of them. I'm going to start doing that. Oh. Maybe not always then. Here's the mummy level. I knew there'd be one eventually. I'll mine all the rocks just in case like the entry down is close. If not, I'm gonna need some bombs in my inventory. Or my hot bar. Mega bomb is probably not the one to use. Probably cherry bomb is the one to use. I need to buy I need to stock up on some more from the old uh, dwarfy pants though. There's the first mummy. I think as long as you don't panic on these levels, they are doable. You just gotta kite a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to beat up the mummy. And then I'll put a cherry bomb down. Run away, Shub. So he's dead, and that gave me the way down. There is also a sand patch here. If I'm willing to use another bomb. Which I could do, I could just put a bomb here. Oh, I didn't kill the dude. Ah... Okay, let's just go down the stairs. We'll find another area that's got a sand patch. No! Not another one! No, I'm not ready for this! No! I'm really not! Ah! I'm nearly dead! Ah! Oh. Two in a row was not fair. Not fair at all. I just hope to be, like, safe and then... Now, did that bo that bomb didn't get me. It must just be that the mummies do a load of damage. Sorry, Harvey. I lost two items. Get my geodes, though. Oh, there's no time to get my geodes done. That's frustrating. I didn't lose my sword this time. That's good. Or my boots or any of my gear. I've just lost... I don't know what I lost. Something that I mined, I think. So that wasn't as bad as last time by a long shot. But I think probably now would be a good time to go to the steams. Go to the spa. And we'll just go in and uh, chill out and make ourselves feel a bit better. Hi, Evelyn. Oh, nothing to say to me. Okay. Did Evelyn get to ten hearts with, with my nice present I gave her? I think she must have done. Uh, where is she? Yay, Evelyn, ten hearts. So 
So now it's just Linus, Sam, Kent, Pierre and Elliot and Alex and Penny. <laughs> Actually, th I said there was five people. There's loads more people, actually, that I need to get up to ten hearts. There's some that are really close and some that are miles away. I don't think I'm going the right way. At oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going the right way. I thought I wasn't going the right way at all, but apparently I am. But, yeah, there's... Oh! Is this the wizard? The wizard never has cutscenes. Oh, Sheila, I've been waiting for you. But I've been up here before. Have I ever told you I used to be married? You told me you had a daughter, I think. Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. My wife and I were together for many years until... until I made a mistake that drove her away. Oh, wizard! Her anger and envy were so intense that she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path and dropping void eggs into people's barns. You were married to the witch, weren't you? When I found out, I sealed this passage to her home, fearing that an innocent villager might fall prey to her dark magic. But now it must be unsealed, for when we separated, she took my magic ink. I need that magic ink back. I would do this myself, but I can't, I, I can't see her again. That's why I need your help. In order to unseal this passage, you'll need a dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the sewer. He should know where to find one. No, I can't. I can't get in the sewer yet. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve my magic ink, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Now go. Yeah, it's her. That's hilarious. Now let's go and have a steam bath. And relax before the end of the episode. Oh, hey, Linus. Thanks for stopping by. I was actually feeling a little lonely this morning. Oh, do you want a snow yam? You like forage. Oh, he's had two gifts. Okay, well, at least we had a chat. You're, you can be my best friend next week. Got a lot of BFFs in this game now. Purple bikinis are the best. That's better, isn't it, Shelab? Much better. This way I can guarantee that I can do a couple of things around the farm or whatever and not just completely get... um. What was I going to say? Yeah, I can do things around the farm and, and not completely like pass out or something because that's going to be what will happen next. Without a doubt. This actually kind of makes me feel relaxed and warm. I don't know why. My brain is that suggestive. Suggestible, not suggestive. I am a suggestible person when it comes to looking at pictures of steam, apparently. So slow. Have a shower. Go look in the mirror. Oh, beautiful. Such a nice hat. Okay, ready to go. One thing, right, that's maybe taken me too many episodes to comment on is the fact that there are toilets in the steam baths. But my house and none of the village's houses have any toilets. So does that mean that everybody in Stargy Valley has to go to the toilet in the steam baths? I think that may be a yes. I gave you a second to think about that one. Okay, so, hmm, these are growing nicely. They'll be ready for spring, which will be great. I'll say this area will be for grass. This area will be for trellis crops. This area here will be for a slime hutch. 
Let's have a check on the... Uh... Oh, I think the star fruit might be ready. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Good grief, that little tiny seed there. You're taking a while. It wiggles when I walk on it. Oh, sunflower as well. Don't really need sunflowers anymore. There's not many people... Oh yeah, I do. Do you know what I need them for? I need them for Sandy. So we'll plant a couple back in. Sandy likes all the flowers. She's just like Caroline. Okay, so we can make more starfruit wine. Now, something I, I did say was I was just going to check the duck house and make sure that that was all done. And if it is, then tomorrow will be Sunday. I don't know if she works on a Sunday. I know she doesn't work a Tuesday. But I think this is now a deluxe coop. Yeah, it is. So, that means that uh, Robin will be able to start doing other things. So, I'm going to just see if... Because um, I know there was a new building introduced with the, the patch. Um, so, I'm going to go and see if I'm allowed to get that. I'm hoping that all the things that are meant to unlock, that I don't have to start again for it. That, you know, it's all... Because there is new endgame content for this. And, um, well, it's 11 o'clock. I'd better stop now. There is new endgame content, so I'm thinking that maybe it would be quite good if I was able to do that endgame content rather than having to start again. And I'm hoping that by carrying on, the only thing that I'm missing is the new farm layouts. And that's the end of the video for today. If you liked it, please leave me a like below. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel, then I can let you know when the new videos are around. Um, I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.